hello 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 this is me again this is real talk with the mirror today's topic real quick topic this morning thought about it yesterday didn't get to do it um i am enough (laughs) topic i am enough you may not be enough she may not be enough he may not be enough but i am enough i am enough for one man to want to be with just me now your situation that you may be in you're not enough (laughs) you're not enough for the person you're choosing to be with clearly again clearly if someone has to have multiple women multiple men if the girl you with can't seem to let her old boo go or her new booze go then you're not enough for them you're not enough and if it's been years and you've never been enough you're never going to be enough Again, y'all, this year, I want to be real honest with people, real honest with myself. What what has to happen? How many years do you have to waste on someone where you've never been enough for them? They're they're clearly not happy with you, and they're, they're probably not happy with themselves, which is the real root of the problem. But if that problem never gets solved... You're never going to be enough. So basically you are wasting your life, your time, your energy, everything you've done in three years, five years, seven years has never been enough. You know, and who who gets to determine your value or your worth? Are you allowing them to determine it? You know, how are you discrediting yourself? How are you devaluing yourself and why? Is this person God? Is he great? Are they a great person? Not look great, not talk great. Are they a great person? What values do they have? What morals do they have? What kindness do they have in their heart? What honesty do they have? What is your value? How much are you worth? Are you enough? And you can say all day that, yeah, I'm enough, I'm enough, I'm enough, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm this beautiful woman, I'm this beautiful queen, I'm all. You're not to them. <laughs> so, what was, where, where is the disconnect at? You, either you are enough or you're not. If you continue to allow yourself to be in a situation where you're not treated like you're enough, then you're not enough. You are setting the standard for yourself. You know, are you worth one man to honor you? Are you worth one woman to honor you, to treat you right, to treat you well? Or again, or is it is it just that sex? Is that all you're worth is sex? You're not worth someone to love you to honor you to value you to cherish you what you allow is what will continue and that is such a powerful statement it gives you control over how others treat you what behaviors you will accept if you find that you are being mistreated by someone lied to cheated on disrespected you need to disallow that behavior Put some value on yourself. (laughs) Put some bass in you, (laughs) boys. And whether that involves conversations, interactions with people, setting boundaries, or cutting ties. And that's something 
we are finding it so hard to do cut ties with people we keep making excuses oh i just want to allow this person to do all this shitty shit to me I'm, i'm picking him to fuck me over all the time and use me and lie to me i'm choosing him to devalue me to say that i'm not enough listen to ourselves ladies and gentlemen think stop talking and think shut up for five minutes think about what you're saying what you're allowing what you're doing how you're teaching your children you're even teaching other people this this is young people out here don't nobody know shit these days we're teaching everybody something (laughs) especially on social media everybody's watching you're teaching somebody it's okay for me to not be enough for this man for this woman it's okay for them to continuously treat me like shit cheat on me lie to me again i've already told all my business i want a husband i don't want to be cheated on again i'm intertwined in story this is different people's story i want a man i want a husband i want someone to value me i want to be treated like a wife First of all, you're not a wife. You got to be a wife first to be treated like a wife. So, as long as you allow yourself to be devalued, to not be enough, that's going to continue. It's not going to change. There's there's no reason for it to change. They're using you. They're getting whatever they want from you. Sex, the jump off, the the money, who, whoever and whomever nothing's gonna change until you do until you become enough you know what i am enough i've been plenty enough (laughs) and i'm not gonna allow myself to be put back in a situation like that where someone treats me like i'm not enough Woo! you know how good that feels great I will never, ever discredit, discount, or de- or devalue myself for a man. Because who is he? Is he God? That becomes your God. Some of these people you're allowing to become your God. They control you. They nip, get, get over here right now. Come suck my dick now. Come do this now. Come do whatever now. Uh, they are your God. They are running your life. They are controlling your value. You're not enough. And you're never going to be enough. Some people are very, um, I I think it's mental illness, delusional, mental illness. um, Something is not working in their brains, in their heads, their hearts, their soul, their spirit. They're a bankrupt individual. They're not just bankrupt money-wise. They're bankrupt spiritual. And you've allowed yourself to stay connected with this bankrupt person. And you're basically getting nothing. You might be getting sex, some t- a little bit of time and attention. But again, he has to spread this time and attention over a multitude of people. <laughs> Let's wake up, ladies. Are you enough or are you not enough? I'm enough. I'm plenty. You're not. And you never are going to be as long as you continue to stay in that situation. And again, you can talk sweet and nice all day. Everybody can make excuses for people. Oh, I just want this one. I'm only going to allow this person to do this to me. I don't allow everybody. Ugh. Again, you sound stupid. Stupid. Stop. <laughs> it, you know, and I know we get in our, um, where we just have to be right. We get stubborn. We want to be right. And again, everybody has seen everything. You, you, everybody has, you've told all of your stuff. You can't make evil good. All the bullshit people are saying that this person has done and how bad they've treated you and you still want to run back for more over and over again you're not enough you're never going to be enough for that person 
So continue wasting your life. I have learned better. I already knew better, of course. You know, again, we we try to make shit right in our life. We try to normalize things in our mind, in our heads, in our hearts, and it's never gonna be normal. That's not normal. You are enough if you want to be enough. But until you know that, and, and until you decide that, it's never gonna happen. All right, y'all. Well, I am getting ready for work this morning. And wanted to do a quick podcast today on enough. Are you enough? If you're not enough in somebody's life, you're letting them determine your value by what you allow them to do to you, by the things you allow to let go, the things you allow them to say to you. And and the key factor is, are you happy? Does that make you happy? And if that makes you happy, then you need to go reevaluate your life because that shouldn't make anyone happy. Are you enough? I am enough. This has been Real Talk with Amira. Hello again, everyone. Keep that happy new year going. Make some changes. Do something different. Get off social media. <laughs> Look. Stop talking. Stop making excuses. Stop trying to make something bad good it's not gonna happen you can't do it it doesn't work like that <laughs> so everyone have a great day thanks for listening and this has been real talk with the mirror peace